But now let's talk about this block because uh, uh, in a downward outward block, the way we're doing it here in Thrusting Salute, depending on how you started, what position you were in that you started, more often than not, you will need what we call a double factor. In other words, your left arm in this case, doing your downward block by itself, is probably not going to be fast enough. Your opponent's straight movement towards you is difficult to outspeed with a circular movement that goes around that. Right? We need something straight. We need something that can meet our opponent's kick instantly. Now, regardless, this is important to understand, in Kempo Karate, regardless of whether or not it is a striking block or a strike itself, a back knuckle, a punch, a kick, doesn't matter what it is, right? the key to success in Kempo is selection of the right basic. And this is what a lot of people don't understand. What gives you an edge in Kempo is the fact that you will select a strike or a block that takes less time to execute than your opponent's strike. This is important to understand this about all Kempo techniques. Okay? So we are going to, and we're going to reiterate this throughout this technique because every strike that you choose in this technique like any other will continue to meet that criteria of having the highest probability of success in relation or in comparison to your opponent's strike. We'll get into this more, um, but I want to kind of like uh, introduce this concept because it is one of the most important concepts in Kempo. It is what gives you the edge, other than checking, for example, right? other than rapid repositioning. Um, so we want to select movements that are faster than our opponent's movements. In this case, with our opponent executing a right kick, our left arm is probably not faster than our opponent's right kick, but our right arm is because it's doing a different movement. And our right arm is doing a palm up, downward inward block, downward inside block would be the proper terminology in Kempo. And the reason why we are doing that is because it reintroduces point of origin into this blocking maneuver, where the circular block with your left was not really using point of origin. It was circling around the, the weapon of your opponent. That takes too much time. Our right arm, however, can uh, intercept this much sooner because the motion of our right arm is short, it is quick, it is explosive, it is immediate. And it certainly is quicker than our opponent's kick. So we will be using a double factor, starting with the right arm, torquing palm up, and just this torquing motion of your forearm is already half the battle won, so to speak, because you are just by turning your forearm, your hand already moves towards the left somewhat, and your, the portion of your arm that is blocking is already starting to engage almost immediately. It's the first thing that is happening. The very first thing, you're stepping out of the way and your block is already engaging, right? And then your left arm is gonna complete that block, okay? Now, there's a check coming up. And here's where you will see different versions of uh, thrusting salute. But if we stick to the original version, the way Mr. Parker wrote it down, you will now use your left arm and you will recoil it counterclockwise and let it become a check. From a block, recoil and let it become a check. That is, and the reason why Mr. Parker was so specific about writing it like that and teaching it like that was because it makes a whole lot of sense. If you, by retracting your left arm back, you are now able to check doesn't matter if he, your opponent falls on you, if he throws a left punch, if he tries to throw a right punch, it doesn't really matter. Your left arm is there to protect you, so that way your opponent cannot strike you with any follow-up movements at that moment. So, so far, we blocked our opponent's kick, we got out of the way, and we checked with our left arm. Right? But we can't keep on just blocking and checking. <laughs> we're going to have to do something back now, and in this case, we're going to use our right leg. and we're.